That's good to hear. I'm glad. I'm, I'm so glad to be here. So glad to be part of this awesome tradition at the Neshoba Affair. And before I get started, I would get yelled at if I went home and did not thank a couple people in the audience. First and foremost, I want to thank my kids who are sitting right here in the front row, Madeline, William, and Henry. Give them a round of applause. Then also, as y'all know, my lovely wife, Katie, I want to thank her. Without her, I could not do this job that I do today, and so well. So, four years ago, I stood at this podium, and I made some promises. Now, as we all know, politicians make promises, and most of the time, they don't keep them. But I want to, be, I want to say, my mom taught me, if you make a promise, you're going to keep it. So I promised to maintain the state's strong credit rating. I promised to be fiscally responsible with your money. I promised to modernize state government. And I promised to be a conservative, a real conservative. So I am proud to report today that I delivered on all those promises. After promising to maintain the state's credit rating, I can report today the state's credit rating is in much stronger shape than it was four years ago. It was a promise made, a promise kept. After promising to be fiscally responsible with your money, I have done deals to refinance the state's debt to save over $700 million and have made over $200 million in investments for the state of Mississippi. It was a promise made, a promise kept. After promising to modernize state government, I have been able to deliver $75 million to the people of Mississippi through unclaimed property. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Don't tell anybody. We're going to get to 80 by the end of the year, maybe 85 by the end of the year. We've been able, through modernization, through using private sector methods, to increase enrollment in college savings, making sure people can go to college and without debt. The average child goes to school with, th graduates college with $32,000 worth of debt. I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen with college savings. Modernizing was a promise made and a promise kept. After promising to be a real conservative, this is what I've done. I defeated the Biden administration on IRS policies that would have looked into your bank account. I would, I've challenged a socialist mortgage rule that would have penalized everybody who makes, has good credit to help those who have bad credit. And I've stood against woke investment policies such as ESG through my tenure here as your state treasurer. It was a promise made and it was a promise I kept. Now, it's time for another four years. It's time for another four years at me as state treasurer. So I have a couple more promises I'm going to make, and in four years, I promise I will have accomplished them all. There are real fights in the federal government that affect our state. The woke left, the Biden administration is spending with reckless abandon. They are spending so much that it affects our state, it affects inflation, it affects our everyday life here in Mississippi. But I promise to continue using our state dollars efficiently and effectively and maintain our strong credit rating. The woke left is forcing their agenda upon us at every chance they get through ESG. And as you know, as I've stood here every year, I have railed against ESG policies and the effects that it has on Mississippi. Now, when it, I don't have time today to get into the weeds of ESG, but if you, one day I will, but any time the federal government or big wigs from New York who have no clue how Mississippi works, who have no clue our way of life, how we operate, what we do here in Mississippi, and I guarantee you they have never stepped foot here in Mississippi. Whenever they want to attack our oil industry here in Mississippi, whenever they want to attack our natural gas and our coal industry here in Mississippi, or our, our ag and farmland here in Mississippi, I will attack them back. I will make sure that does not happen. So these are the promises I'm making you today. These are the promises I'm going to keep. Like I said earlier, my mom taught me, my parents taught me, and I'm sure you teach your kids. If you make a promise, you better well damn keep it. So 
God bless you all. God bless the state of Mississippi, and thank y'all for letting me be part of today. Thank y'all.